Hallelujah. Lift your hands and let's pray. Father, thank you for tonight. Thank you for grace. The grace of the Holy Spirit. The grace of God. Thank you that you are pouring out your spirit. A soul winner's anointing. A soul winner's anointing. A soul winner's anointing. Wow. Receive the soul winner's anointing. A soul winner's anointing. How beautiful are the feet of them that bring good tidings, good news. May you have upon you the soul winner's anointing. Receive the soul winner's anointing. Father, thank you for the blessedness of the anointing of the soul winner. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. Thank you, Pastor Jonathan, for this privilege to be here. Now, how many of you believe that God is going to anoint you tonight? I believe that, yes. God is going to anoint you tonight. Amen. So, tonight I want to share with you on appointed times in your spiritual life. All right? And um, I want to start with the time for your birth. Amen. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 2. A time to be born. Amen. Now, I believe that there is a time for everything in the realm of the Spirit. And so, when the time comes, certain things have to happen. Amen. So, in Genesis 18, verse 14, is anything too hard for the Lord at the time appointed? I will return to thee according to the time of life and Sarah shall have a son. Amen. Now, I believe that there is a time for everything. Although things seem to be just floating along, there is really a time. There's a time. And in the realm of the spirit, that time is a time for things to happen. Amen. So, there is a time to come into this world. Now, that time determines who your friends are going to be. So, John the Baptist even though his mother, uh, what is her name again? Um, Elizabeth, was trying to have a child. He needed to be born around the time when Jesus was born so that they could be friends and that, so that they would relate. He was there because he was the forerunner of Jesus. So he had to, he, he had to be delayed so his mother was now an old lady, but there was a spiritual time. And so there's a time when you are supposed to come. And so God allows you to come into the world and have certain relationships because of when you were born. All right? There are some people who have to be older than you so that you can relate with them. And there are some people who have to be your age or similar to your age. And there are some people that have to be younger than you. They are all part. If you look, Kenneth Hagin and Derek Prince died within one week of each other. In the same week, they died. Kenneth Hagin and Derek Prince. One week apart. Amazing. And all the great people in the last five to ten years Many of these people have gone off the scene. So, a time to be born 
And so you have been born and you have come to America at this time. The Bible says, at the time appointed. So that's why you are your age. Because there's things you have to do. And there's people you have to know. And there's people you have to relate with. The Bible says that they without us should not be made perfect. So there are people who God wants you to interact with. And you may not have known them if you were born much earlier or much later. So you must now know that you are supernaturally brought into this world. These are appointed times. Then there's the time of your death. Second Timothy chapter 4 and verse 6. I am now ready to be offered. The time of my departure is at hand. There is a time to die. And spiritually speaking, God is going to remove you from this world at a particular time. No one is going to be here forever. If you are 50 years old, it means you have 20 years to be 70. Just 20. If you are 60 years old, it means you have lived six-sevenths of your life. Assuming you, be, you are 70. In Numbers chapter 4 and Numbers chapter 8, the Bible says that a minister shall serve from the age of 25 to 50. He shall do the work of the tabernacle and he shall serve from 25 to 50. So, there is a time for you to, to work. Amen. And there is a time um, for you. Numbers 4, Numbers 8. Help me with the scripture. Brother Joel, Bishop Joel, help me with the scripture. Numbers chapter 4, Numbers chapter 8. All right? They don't know the scripture. So God is, has got a time. We are all hurtling towards our death day. The day that we die and go out. And so everyone must sit up. Must sit up. And Numbers chapter... Four three. Numbers 4 verse 3. Numbers 4, verse 3. Is there Numbers 8, 1 I want? All right. From 30 years old upward, even until 50 years old, all that enter into the host to do the tabernacle of the congregations. Numbers 8 is the one I want. 25. Numbers 8, 25. Numbers 8, 25. All right. From the age... No, no, no. From 24 and 25, please. Oh, yes. This is that that belongeth unto the Levites. I'm talking about time. From 25 years old and upward, they shall go in to wait upon the service of the tabernacle. And verse 25. And from the age of 50, they shall cease to do the work the service thereof, and shall serve no more. Jesus was about 30 years old when he began to be anointed. Listen, if you are young and you are here, you are a prime target of the anointing. God is very, very interested. I'm not saying if you are about 50, God is not interested in you. But I'm saying that if you are between 25 and 50, uh, those are the best years of your ministry and of your life. Yeah. And you know, you can't really change the time of your death except to honor fathers and those kind of things. But you must get ready uh, 
and think of eternity. One day, a young man was going on a mission, and I gave him some advice. But I remember because I was speaking under the anointing, I told him, always think of death, and you'll be a very wise man. You see, people who think of death and eternity are very wise. You stop quarreling with your wife or with your husband because eternity is coming. When you say Baba, you may never see the person again. That may be the last time you drive out. You may never come back. When you think of eternity that is coming, you think of what to do. You know, every day I think to myself, what can I do? What, 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 what should I do if I have 10 years left? What, what should I do <laughs> with my time? I don't have any achievement that I haven't achieved that I can think of by the grace. I, I just have to do his will. I have to do what he wants. Amen. Because I'm thinking of the day, the time where you go out. Yeah. So think about it. And let it make you wise in the spirit. Many years ago, I was driving to the north of Ghana. And I, I was sitting in the car, and I told the guys with me, we'll be there in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. But within five minutes after I spoke those words, my car was somersaulting. We somersaulted like this, turned over, turned around, and if this is the road, we ended up somewhere where that big thing is there, upside down, five people in the car. That was a turning point in my life. From that time, and we should have died. All of us should have died, there were five of us in the car. I left in the morning at 7. It was around 4 in the afternoon. We were just about 30 minutes to where we were going. And I said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be there in 30 minutes. And I was driving. But we were not there in 30 minutes. We were in the bush. Upside down. And smoke and fire started to come out of the engine. And our cars, because the car had rolled, all the, all the, all the, the doors were jammed. No door could open, and we were this way. So we came out through a little sunroof, one after the other. I still have a little scar as a memento for the occasion. From that time, I realized that there is a time God can say, that's it, that's it, come off the field. Sometimes you ask yourself, why does God remove people? Sometimes who are working so well. When Keith Green died, people didn't understand. I don't know if you know Keith Green. Keith Green, you don't know Keith. Go find his music. Keith Green. Anointed music, not the type we have these days. Oh, yes. Keith Green. So, there is a day coming when God will say, okay, 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 it's finished. Finished. I remember watching, I, I watched the funeral of Kenneth Hagin many times. I just watch it like, it's like he's preaching. And listen to everybody talking. I watched the funeral over and over. One of the things that Kenneth Hagin Jr. said, he said, we thought this day would never come. He said, we thought this day would never come, but it has come. Yeah. So, I see God giving you some kind of wisdom on how to live, knowing that there is a fixed time. And from this time to that time, that is it. There are times that are appointed. And when I had that accident... I realized that, look, no matter what you are doing, 
You cannot tell. There are mysteries we don't understand. God could decide, hey, 30 years is enough. Jesus lived for only 30 years. John the Baptist lived for only 33 years. And Jesus also 33 years. It's enough. Yeah. Do you know when, when God said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased, he had not preached even one sermon. He had not started a church. He had not won a soul. He said, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. Humility. When he bowed and he was humble, it touched the heart of the father. said, this is my son. I like him so much. He's so humble. He bowed down for baptism with John the Baptist. And God said, this is my son. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. May you have a good spirit of humility. Oh, I said, may you have a good spirit of humility. Oh, yes. That's enough to provoke God to say, this is my son. Many years ago, I had a vision. In the vision, two dead pastors, two pastors who had died, came to visit me. I said, what are you doing here? They said, we have come to visit our works that we did when we were alive. I suspect who these two pastors are, but I, didn't, I don't have their names. They were people who had died, but they were visiting me in my house. And they, they, they had been around. So they went around in town and they came back. So we had dinner before they were going back to heaven. Hey! As we sat at dinner, these two pastors who were, had died some years, some time ago, years ago, they told me, I said, what, so what did you find when you came back to earth? He said, oh, they said, you know, our messages are not received anymore. People are not interested. People didn't want even our messages and our songs. They were like old-fashioned. People were not interested. They, they told me three things. And the second thing they said was that they were very surprised about the time they died. They never expected to die when they died. Yes. And the third thing they said to me was, this is your best time now. Give your best now. Because later on, you wouldn't be able to do anything to add to your works, to take away from your works. And said, we were not expecting to die when we died. We were just taken out of this world. Most people are not really expecting that that would be the time that they would go. So, I want to encourage you to give your very best now, this is your best time. This is your best time. Yes, now. Amen. 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 So, to do what you want to do. To give what you want to give. To work hard. To work long. Because a time will come when you won't be able to work. Do your people know that the pandemic was a prophetic warning to the world of what is coming. The pandemic was just an announcement of the kind of things that are about to fall on the earth. Yes. You see, the pandemic was completely unexpected by even churches. But the pandemic is a foretaste of the pangs, the birth pangs. And you know when birth pangs come, as you get to the place you are going to give birth, the time between the pangs gets shorter and shorter. So there are going to be things, but the greatest effect of the pandemic was for us to see that there will be a time when the night cometh when no man can work. The night cometh when no man can work. The night may be in the form of a pandemic. 
but it may be in the form of sickness. It may be in the form of a limitation which you couldn't expect. And so the Holy Spirit is telling you today, get up your loins and give your best now. Preach your best. Travel the most. Stay around the most. Give what you want to give. Do what you want to do. But the night is coming. You won't be able to. Yeah. When you get to heaven, say, I want to go back and sign a check. You want to go back and sign a check? You should have signed a check earlier. So this is the time. There is a time for everything. There is a time when God will let you come to this world. And a time will come when he will say, ah, it's over. If you ask me why, I will say, I don't know. Amen. Number three. Ma tal bekesumba. The time for your maturity. In Hebrews chapter 5, verse 12. For when the time you ought to be teachers, the time, everybody say the time. I can't hear you. For when the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again. From this scripture, there is a time that you ought to have become a teacher. There was a time you should have become a teacher. You can't sit in church and just receive messages. That's what's going to make you criticize. I met one guy, I asked him, why are you not coming to church? He said, I'm not coming because I know all my pastor's sermons. Today it's about Abraham, tomorrow it's Moses. I know everything he's going to say. There is a time when you are to become a teacher. Who is 25 years old here? 25, come. I was 25 years old when in a little room. Yes, come. 25. You are 25. I was 25 years old when the Holy Spirit spoke to me in a room and he said from today not from next year from today you can teach yes from today you can teach 25 25 25 look at me teaching here in Pittsburgh huh? I'm teaching out of a book published over 40 to 50 million of these books. Yeah. Without a publisher. Yeah, without a publisher. Without an American publisher. So God is going to use you. What's your name? Isaiah. Isaiah. Yes, hey. This name is very big. <laughs> Isaiah is standing in front of me. <laughs> Give me the oil, please. Isaiah himself is here. Do you know the power of your name? What do you do? In, do you do something in? I'm in uh, sales currently. Sales. Yes, sir. Sales. You are selling? Uh, windows, doors. Windows. windows and doors. Yes, sir. Yeah. But do you know that there are windows of heaven? Yes, sir. And you are selling earthly windows. <laughs> May the Lord kneel down, kneel down, kneel down, kneel down. May the Lord anoint you from today at the age of 25. May you become powerful in God. Next time when they ask you, what do you do? You will not be talking about earthly doors and earthly windows. Kawadapara. Shimba bazandola makata. 
receive power, 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 power. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Stand up, stand up. Lift your hands. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You will be preaching and teaching instead of selling doors. Pakasa Baba. Paloman de Barabalaba. Oh, yes. Power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. The rest of you are not the 25. This only, this is a guy. This is a guy I was looking for. Yeah. 25. Amen. There is a time when you ought to be a teacher. That night in that hospital, in the room, I was kneeling on my knees. I'm telling you what happened to me. I was kneeling down. And then I was listening to Kenneth Hagin in the tape by the corner. Those days we had tape recorders. 1988. 1988. Kenneth Hagin. He was with me all night. Auto reverse, we call it. This way, that way, this way, that way, this way. Those of you who are so young, you may not know what all these things are. It's amazing. I never thought I'd be saying that. And at about 2 a.m., I fell asleep, but I woke up. Something jumped out of the tape and entered my belly here. Then I heard a voice in the room. And the voice said, from today, from today, that's our 25 years old. From today, you can teach. Yes, from today you can teach. Then I heard another voice say, and I will prove it to you. Amazing. Look at Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2. The time when you ought to be a teacher. Look at Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2. Please. Ezekiel 2 verse 2. Beautiful. Oh, yes. I think the computer is frozen. Ezekiel 2, verse 2. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. You see, when God is speaking to you, the Spirit entered. You see, as I'm speaking now, the Spirit is entering. Yes, the Spirit is entering. That's why when you listen to preaching, you can become anointed. That's how I became anointed. By listening. Come here, come here, come. You. Come. Yes, you. Come. Holy Spirit is moving on your life. Come this way. You see, you can become anointed. Huh? When you listen to preaching. I'm telling you, that's how I became anointed. Lift your hands up. Lift your hands, my dear. Give me oil. Palama shandola makaba. Don't be worried. Don't be worried. Power belongs to God. Receive. Grace. Receive. Oh, yes. Receive healing too. Healing. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. All right. Now, Acts 10 44. Look at Acts 10 44. What does it say? While Peter yet spake these words, that is, while Peter was preaching, what happened? The Spirit fell on them which heard, not on them which were sleeping, the ones who, who were hearing the word. The Holy Spirit fell. That's the anointing. So that's what happened to me. Whilst I was listening to Kenneth Hagin, the Holy Spirit came on me. And he said to me, I heard, I, heard, I heard him speaking, not an audible voice, but a voice. I can't explain any further than that. And he said, from today, you can teach. And I started to teach from then. And I'm still teaching. So I believe that you are here. This is a time for God to anoint teachers. And let me tell you something about teaching. Do you know that even when I'm at crusades, I teach. When I'm on the stage, I have 100,000 people there. I still teach. 
or I teach, I teach the gospel. Today is a time. Listen, this church is going to be filled with an army of teachers. Yeah. Teachers. <laughs> Teaching men of God. The anointing to teach is coming on you. Yeah. What, what is the anointing? What is it like, the anointing? You explain scriptures which people have in the Bible. We they already have, but it brings it out. And there's some kind of power in it. It's not shouting. It's not just repeating words. It's a teaching anointing. And it has a certain power to draw people, even though it's, it's like talking or just explaining something. The teaching anointing is the kind of anointing that is coming on your life. What is the teaching anointing? It is the power to teach which is different from a school teacher teaching in the class. Because what I'm doing now is a school teacher cannot do what I'm doing. It, it takes an anointing. It's the same power to write the books. Oh, yes. All over. To write books that can be understood. And that bless people. It's the anointing. Not for money, but for books. Oh, yes. That's the teaching anointing. Receive that anointing. Some teaching, who are those around here teaching? There's a guy down there. Yes, you, you, you. Yes, come. And teaching anointing. Come, teaching anointing. This is your time. This is your time. Teaching anointing. Listen, when you have the teaching anointing, you not shout. You not shout. But you are anointed to teach. Come. This is your time for the teaching anointing. This is... This is People that are serious in the ministry. Amen. Father, thank you for blessing. Thank you for touching. Receive the gift of God. Receive the gift of God. May the Lord use you. May the Lord use you in the ministry. Thank you, Jesus. I'm talking about teachers. Listen, I sense a number of people here with a teaching anointing. He says, the time when you ought to be a teacher. I need you. I need you in front here. I'm still preaching. But I'm talking about the teaching anointing. Give me oil that is easy to... This one, I will, I will hurt somebody with it. Give me oil that is easy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, the teaching anointing is for teaching. When I pray for you, may you just receive. Just, just receive. Just receive. Listen, the Holy Spirit told me, lay hands on the people. Last Sunday, I was in the office when somebody came to see me and his wife was paralyzed in the car. And he, he came to talk to me. And I said, I will come to the car to lay hands on your wife. Yes. No, no, listen. Please, over there. We are, no, it's too much, too many people. Come, come this way. Come this way. Don't worry. We, today is the, I mean, it's my last night here, so I'm sure I'm going to pray for everyone. But this man is receiving anointing. Ish. We bless. We anointed. Yes. I'll just pray for, lift your hands. So now I'm going to, when I lay hands on you, just receive. Receive. You see, 
From that day, God told me in that room, in an obscure place in Ghana, I've been to so many places in the world teaching and preach. Even the money to be able to do it is something. Yes. Lift your hands. The teaching anointing. Believe in the anointing. Believe in the anointing. Believe in the anointing. Believe in the anointing. Makatas banalo shambalada. I'll lay hands on. Take it. Take it. Take it. It's flowing. Take it. Power. Look at that. Receive. Gift. My God. Kabashando. Watch this lady, please. Help. Help. Touch. 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 It's flowing like a river right now. Take it. Touch. 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 Healing anointing. Teaching anointing. Thanks. 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 Receive from the Lord. Receive from the teaching anointing. Teaching anointing, teaching anointing, teaching anointing, teaching anointing. Receive, 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 receive. Take it now, it's flowing. Hold this. It's flowing. Flowing. Thanks. 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 Teachers. It says for the time when you ought to be teachers. Oh, yes. Teaching. Teaching. One, two, three. Receive. 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 Thank you. 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 Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Lift your hands, everybody. Thank the Lord right now. Anyone whom I have not laid hands on, but you believe you receive a teaching anointing, just lift your hand and thank God right now. I receive, I receive the anointing to teach. The anointing to teach. It's an anointing to gather crowds and to teach in a church as the church gets bigger and bigger and bigger because people come to eat and to feed. Receive that anointing to teach the word of God. And not just talk jargon and say things which you yourself don't understand. Receive the grace to teach the word of God. Oh, this lady's here. I beg you. This lady's here. Oh, yes. Anoint them to teach. Receive. Receive. Take it. Take it down. Receive the anointing. There's power here. There's power here. Lift your hand and receive the teaching anointing. That's what God gave me in 1988. An anointing to teach. To stand in the church and teach. To stand in a conference and teach. To stand in a crusade and teach. To stand with a small group and talk to them. Receive that grace. The teaching anointing. Give me oil. Pastor, may the teaching anointing rest upon you. The grace to teach. The grace to teach. Thanks. Thanks, Jesus. For your great blessing. The anointing to teach. The anointing to teach. The anointing to teach, Jesus. Thanks. 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 Receive the anointing to teach. Ola Beshiba. May you be a light. May you be a light. May the anointing of a light be upon you. The anointing of a light. Let it be upon you. May you travel to teach. 
to fill the world, the world with the word. Blessings. Thanks. In Jesus' name. Anointing. Jesus. Jesus. Receive. 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 Power. 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 Thanks. 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 It's flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. Power of the Holy Ghost. 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 Baga, 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 baga. Paloma, paliva, leva, 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 leva. Power to teach. Power to teach. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Receive the grace. Oh yes. anointing listen I see in the realm of the spirit a big gift because you see when the Holy Spirit gave me that little that gift it was actually a very big thing it was actually a big thing and today I see ah, actually a big thing actually a big thing come here actually it's a big thing actually it's a big thing the Holy Ghost. oh yes Let it fall on me. it's actually yeah. something very big receive something something far bigger than you imagine bigger than you imagine come this way you come can I pray for you sir not you the man behind yes. can I pray for you do you want to teach the word of God you want to teach the word of God. God is giving you a teaching anointing. For the time has come when you ought to be. Lift your hands. Father, a new day begins for this man. Use him and set him. Set him up. Set him up. Set him up in a new day. Let there be a new day for this man. Mataba Shoma de Kabara. Dryness is gone. Dryness. Dryness. Dryness is gone. Dryness is gone. That's what I'm hearing. Dryness. My God. My God. Dryness. Dryness. Receive. Receive. Oh. Oh, yes. My God, my God, my God, my God, Balambere, Monda, Fala, Catayala, Mana, Catayala, Mana. Thanks, 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 thanks. Oh, yes, it's flowing. Now, I'm continuing my message. I'm, I'm, st I'm still preaching. A time for your teaching. And now, number five, the time for your anointing. I don't know what's going to happen now. It says, To whom he showed himself alive, after his passion by many infallible proofs just leave the people everywhere where they are there's power here just leave everyone there's power here it says he showed himself 
by many impalable proofs. Acts chapter 1 verse 4. And being assembled, he commanded them to wait for the promise of the Father. Wait for the promise. There's a time when the promise of the Father is going to come. I believe this is the time. How many believe that a time has come for the promise of the Father? How many have desired to be anointed so much? So much. So much. Somebody has gone somewhere to pray for three days. Who is that? Is that somebody who's gone to pray for three days? You. Wow. Come. Somebody's gone to pray for three days. Come stand right here. You prayed for three days. That God should anoint you. Is there anybody else like that? You went to pray for three days. That God should anoint you. Come here. There's people... I don't know anything about you, but I just feel that there's people whom God is going to honor because you went somewhere to pray for three days. How many believe that this is a time for your anointing? Come here. No, no, please. If you didn't go to pray for three days, I don't know what will happen to you when I lay hands on you. So I want you to receive something good. Three days. Three days. Lift your hands. Now, this is your day. This is your day. This is your day. Your oily day. Your day of grace. Your day of... Everyone lift your hands. When I lay hands on people here, something is happening to you where you are. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. May the Lord answer every prayer. Yes. Three days you prayed. Oh, seek and you shall find. Bring me this man, this man. Give me back to me. Three days you prayed. You think God is blind? God is answering. You think God is blind? Receive the grace of God. Receive the grace of God. Receive the grace of God. This man is very anointed. Come back to me. You are very anointed. This is what the Lord is saying. You are very anointed. I don't know what God is going to use you for. Kula shababo sande bekepile de. Tamonda bakaba. Tobrele. A servant of the Most High. I declare. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. A servant of the Most High. My God. You pray to the Lord. And he has heard your prayer. You pray to the Lord. He has heard your prayer. You prayed for three days. You prayed for three days. May he answer every prayer. Watch out. Watch out. Take it now. Take it. Oh yes. There's power. There's something happening. Something is not. Something supernatural. Receive the gift. Receive the gift, sir. Receive the gift. My God. Kulaba. Pila. Matuma. Shamola Be. Paramandala Baba. Pazokile Pukatede. Taba. Taba. It's your turn. It's your turn. May the Lord answer your prayers, my dear. May the Lord answer your prayers. Thanks. 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 Oh, yes. Receive. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. Receive, receive, receive. May the Lord answer your prayers. May the Lord answer your prayers. Yes. Now I see the angel of the Lord. Somebody here, when you went to pray, the Lord himself blessed you with his angel. I don't know who you are, but he sent his angel to accompany you for the ministry. Receive that gift. And flow with the angel. You see, you see, there's something happening. Anybody who doesn't understand when people are falling, you can come around and stand to watch. To see there's some kind of power around. 
Nobody knows what exactly. Bring this lady back to me. There's some kind of power. There's power here. There's power here. Lift your holy hands. Receive power. Oh my God. 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 Ukaba. 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 Thanks. 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 In the name of Jesus. The time, he said, wait for times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. There is a time when God will refresh you. There's a time when God will refresh you. I see a time of anointing now for many people. It has come. A time for your anointing. Palamakota bara mananda la baba. One day I went to Guinea, Conakry, and an angel came to the room with a bottle. The bottle was as tall as this, with a long, slim snout, and the bottom was a round base full of oil. And that was an anointing, right, there, that the angel had come to give me in, in Guinea. Yeah. Now, right now, as I speak, God is giving some people here a healing anointing. Anointing for healing. If you are in the ministry and you only teach but you don't heal the sick in any way or you don't pray for the sick, come to me if you are in the ministry but you don't pray for people to be healed. You've, you've never operated in that. Come. You, are, you must be a pastor or a minister of the gospel. Come to me, but you don't pray for healing. Lift your hands. Receive a healing anointing. Healing anointings. A time of your anointing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Palama Shandola Maka Baranda La Babanda. I see a healing grace being given. Where, where are you, a pastor? At? Spartanburg, South Carolina. South Carolina. You don't have a healing ministry. No, sir. Just teaching. No, sir. You're a pastor. I want, there are more pastors like this pastor. You are, you are just a pastor. But you see, God wants to give you something more. If you are like that, I want you to come quickly. Pastors. Pastors. Oh, yes. May you have a grace of healing in your ministry, beginning from today. Thanks. 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 You'll never be dry anymore. Dryness is taken away from you. Yes, this is what the Lord is saying. I see something like Elisha. What is Elisha? Receive it. Receive it. Take it now. It's flowing, 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 it's flowing. Healing, healing, healing. Palamashandula Makaba. Some of you here, God is, you are not in the ministry, but God wants to give you an anointing for ministry. If you are here, you want the anointing for the ministry. No, just in this section here. I need you to come to me. Come here. Come here for ministry. For ministry. If you're on this side, don't come. Just this side. Form a line right here. Form a line right here. All those in the front here. I see a time of the anointing. If I've prayed for you, you can go back. All this side. Hold this. Oh, pastor. God loves you. God loves you. Your ministry is changing. Your ministry is changing. Your ministry is changing. Receive the gift of God right now. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Receive. Thanks. Healing. 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 Oh. Healing. Healing. Mabo Shemele Spere. Ola mi sambola bedeke bede de bede 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 bede. Watch, 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 watch. Jesus. 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 Thanks. 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 He touched me. He touched me. He touched me. He's touching me. He's touching me. He's touching me. Power belongs to God. My God. My God. Pare bele bele, pare bele bele, pare bele bele, pare bele 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 bele. Mama mara sondele makabalando la mele bele. Oh yes. Thanks for the healing anointing. Lift your hands. You never be dry again. Something you never be dry again. And dry again. Oh yes. Never again. You never be dry again. Oh yes. Thank you, Jesus. It's flowing. You may go back to your seat or all this side. Oh, he touched me. Everybody here, go back. Every, leave the people on the floor. There's power here. Something happened, and now I know he touched me. All of you here, can you come this way, this side? Come here. Come. Something Ministry. No, no, this side, just stay there. All of you here, come this way. Ministry. Listen, at the appointed time, you are going into the ministry. Amen. Do you believe? How old are you, my dear? Huh? How old are you? 17. 17. Beautiful. I was 16. Something. Now, Lord, anoint this young lady. Anoint her. Anoint her. Anoint her for your works. For your works. Receive the gift of God. Receive the gift of God. Take it now. It's flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. Thank you. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Take it. Power belongs to God. Receive power. Receive power. It's flowing. Young man, God is going to use you. Put your head on my shoulder. God is going to use you. Calabara. 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 Shibele. Nobody knows you, but many will know you. Nobody knows you, but many will know you. In the name of Jesus. Pasende Kebala. Yes. 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 Lady. Lady. That's power. That's power. There's power. Oh, there's power. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I thought the oil was there. My... Receive power. Take it. Take it now. Look at this one. Receive the gift of God. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You see? You see? The Bible says they shall tremble at the presence. That's what we are seeing. They're trembling at the presence of the Lord. Oh, yes. Receive the gift of God. Young men. Young men. Paloma Dere. Oh, yes. What, what work do you do? What, what work does he do? Do you know him? He's a Bible student. Huh? You're a Bible student. God is going to use you. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Malabarakatasa. Receive the gift and the help of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. My God. Kaledrebeshe. Palama. America is waiting to hear from you. America. 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 America is waiting 
to hear, to good talah, to melede, pramalishe, palo. Thanks, 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 thanks. It's flowing. There's power here. Lift your hands. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Receive. Look at that. There's power here. Look at it. 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 It's electricity, holy anointing. Power. Give me the oil. Give me this lady back. Lady, come back. Do you know that? Do you know that God loves you? Do you know that God wants you to be his baby? To serve him? Do you know God wants you to be his vessel? Oh, yes. Bless the babies, Lord. Bless the children. Not too much drums. Hello? Drums, drama. Too much. Receive. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. My God. Yes. Come and feel my Now, receive a fast grace. My God. Mandole Bari Kabele de Be. Palain de Sem Beke Bele Bede. Tega. Shubele. Watch. 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 Receive the gift of God. Malekiba. Paleda. For ministry. For ministry. The time of your anointing has come. The time of your anointing. The time of your anointing. Thank you. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Who is this man? He's a member of the church. Are you a member of this church? Lift your hands. May the power of God come upon you. May you turn into a minister of the gospel. Of the gospel. Korabe Sebende. On Jesus. Paleshe. Paredele. Pale. Who is this young man? How old is he? Can I can lift him up? How old are you? Thirteen. Wow. Lift your hands. May you be anointed from thirteen onwards. There's power. Look at it. There's power here. This is not natural. People are not just deciding to fall down. This is not dramatics. This is some kind of power available. How many want that kind of power in your life? There's power here, I tell you. Power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. Olemeke. Parimangele. Paledebe Shembele. Do you live for Jesus? Always? Always? Always, always? Lift your hand, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. Power. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, you see, you, you must live for Jesus always. Yes, not sometimes. Come back, my dear. You don't always live for Jesus. You know what I mean. Jesus, change her. Change is coming. Change by the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. Touch this man. Touch this lady. There is no one else oh yes. Like Feel the grace. Great. Feel the gift. I bless so you with the gift there of God. Is no one else oh like yes. You know, Pazengolama Tomodi Belene, Paramada. The Holy Spirit said to me, pray for them. If I've laid hands on and you, you can go back to your seats. Look at this man. Lord, These are strong. Some of them, I think, they are soldiers. Some of them must be soldiers. They look like fighters. But the power of God is greater than the power of any soldier or wrestler. Huh? Take the grace. Shula. You see? Look at it. Bring her back to me, this one. Fire and grace. Fire and grace. You do me. There's, there's something happening. Where are you from? Are you from India? Lift your hands. 
you do miracles every thing that there is, is no not from one God goes like and God replaces in the name of Jesus take it take it yes I see fire I see fire I see fire I see fire there is no one look at the vibrations you don't even know how it happens any anybody who hasn't ever fallen under the power pray that you fall under the power because I used to pray for it to happen to me thank you take the grace of God There is no one else like you. There is no one else. You are great. Thank you, Jesus. You do miracles so great. There is no one else Thanks. like you. Thanks. Receive. Receive. Yes, that's glory. There's glory here. There's glory here. Is this another soldier? This man is a soldier. But a soldier for Jesus, receive the gift of God. Receive the gift of God. Power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. Thanks. Thanks. Yes. Yes. Oh, I don't even know why. I don't even know why. It's a time of ministry. A time of the anointing. Thanks. Thanks. Look at this lady. Take it. Take it. It's flowing. It's flowing. Thank you, Jesus. Shame, ba ba ba, son. Oh yes. Oh yes. Mamola me shembele debele debele debele. Oh yes. If I've prayed for you, please go back to your seats now. Go back to your seats. Those on the floor, you can leave the floor, people. Just leave the people on the floor to enjoy the anointing. Now, that night, the Holy Spirit said to me, from today, you can teach. It's one of my best nights. Now, the time of your fruitfulness And the time of your visitation. Genesis 18 verse 14. At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. There's a time for your visit. How many believe your time to be visited? It's now. There's a time. There's a time. Listen. As God blesses this church, and visits this church he will visit you also amen and then the next one is there's a time for your enlargement it's a thrust in thy sickle and reap for the time is come for thee to reap there's a time for you to reap God is enlarging you a time for you to reap your pastor has sown seeds of millions Seeds of millions in ministers' lives. Are you, are you a minister? You're a minister where? Florida. In Florida. How big is your church? 150. Okay. God wants to show you a new way of ministry than the way you've known. Okay. Than the way you feel. Do you want to know a new way? Yes, yeah. Because the Bible says, arise and shine. Why? Because your light has come. Isaiah 60. Yeah. You need a new light. The light you have is not enough for you to shine. Arise and shine for thy light has come. God is bringing a new seed into your life. Amen. A seed you, you do, you've not known that seed at all. You've not known that seed. I don't even know why you are here. 
I don't know why you are here. But you see, God wants to give you a new seed. That seed will bring a champion. Yes. But until you receive that seed, you, you, you cannot, the 150, you'll be there for years. But I see, God wants to give you something bigger. Amen. It's a time of enlargement. Amen. Do you believe? Yes. Stand up. Give me oil. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this man, Lord. Thank you for changing his ministry. Thank you for changing his ministry. Receive the gift of God. Receive the gift of God. Ooh, balaba. Yes, yes, yes. It's flowing. And you see, you didn't have it, but he's giving it. Take and receive the gift of God. There's power here. There's power. Are you a pastor? You are not, what are you? You are nothing. You're an evangelist. Evangelist. Evangelist of who? Who do you evangelize? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Stand up. The crowds you've been preaching to, they are not large crowds. You, you preach to very small crowds. Do you believe that there can be bigger crowds? I do, yes, sir. Yes. So you see, that there are levels in the ministry. The Bible says God gave according to his several ability. So you have an ability that is limited. But God wants to expand your ability so that he can give you a bigger talent. Yes. You believe in such things. Yes. Lift up your hands. It's a time of ministry. It's a time of enlargement. It's a time of enlargement. Marakata Sparandola. Thank you. For larger crowds. Thank you for more fruit. So your time of fruitfulness has come. May you be a fruitful man. Mawadasa, Palamazanda, Paramada. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Barone Shembele Mone. Ombele Kupari Lebele. You don't have it, but he wants to give it to you. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Just leave him down. Who are you? Do you? Are you a pastor? Youth pastor. There's nothing like youth pastor. It's just pastor of human beings. Huh? Stand up. God has something greater for you. Do you believe in something greater? The Lord says you have to straighten your life. Do you know what that means? He, he wants you to straighten your life so that he can anoint it. Can't anoint something that is crooked. Lift your hands. Jesus. Bolene kema tomonde ke barabala sondele. Who are you? Are you his wife? You are his wife. Stand up. How long have you been married? Three years. Do you have children? You, you need children, don't you? Yes. Do you believe God can give you children? Father, thank you for blessing. For the fruit of the womb. The answer to your prayer. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Who are you? Outreach director here. Ah, stand up. You need fire. You need fire. Huh? Fire. Lift your hand. He said he shall anoint you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. May fire. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, there's power here. Hey. Come, my dear. And you are also who? 
You work what? I work in the office and I'm his wife. You are not you are his wife. Yes. You are his wife. Yes. This you are the wife of this man. Yes. And you work <laughs> in the church. Yes, administration. All right. The Lord says that you must rejoice evermore. Be happy. Happier than you are. Happier. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is what I'm saying making any sense to you? You must be happier than you are. Why? Because the joy of the Lord is a kind of strength. Sadness, moodiness, depression, discouragement is not going to help you. Rise up now and rejoice. Rejoice in the spirit. Rejoice in the spirit. Yes. Let there come a freshness in you, in your soul. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes. There's power here. There's power here. And who are you? Evangelist. Evangelist. The time to reap has come. Evangelist. Stand up. God wants to give you a lot of people to evangelize. Did you see the video? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's evangelism. Receive that. Receive that. Receive that grace. In the name of Jesus. Receive that grace. Stretch your hand towards this evangelist. Satan wants to kill him. But God wants to save him. You shall not die. But you shall live. To serve the Lord and to finish your calling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody lift your hands and give thanks to the Lord. Oh, yes. Father, thank you for your power that is working. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for ministers. Ministers of the gospel. Thank you for ministers of the gospel. Now, a time of your testing. Wow. A time of your judgment. All these are appointed times. Now I hear the Holy Spirit whispering. There's a time for enlargement. It's a time for enlargement. Luke 16. I want to give you one revelation. And then I finish preaching because all this I've just been preaching. Luke 16, 16. This is a message to everyone. The law and the prophets were until John. Everybody say John. John. Say John. John. The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached. And every man presseth into it. There is a man in your life, he is the signal that a phase of ministry has ended. And another one has started. His name is John. Look at it. The law and the season of laws and prophets ends when you see John. When you see John, a certain season has ended. I don't know whether you are listening. And from John, another season starts. Yes. So this is the Spirit's word to you. There are certain people, when you see the person, the person is a signal. The person is a signal for the end 
of something. John was a signal. Law and prophets are finished. Now is kingdom of God preaching. There are certain men, when I saw them in my life, when they came into my life, it was the end of a season and the beginning of a new season. Today God is telling you in the realm of the spirit, there are certain men and people, when they come into your life, it's a sign. A whole era is over and a new era is beginning. The law and the prophets up till John. As soon as you see John, it's the finish with law and prophets. Now the kingdom comes. And for the kingdom, every man presses. It is the characteristic. If you don't push, you won't enter. You won't go in. If you don't press your way, you will never. You won't see something, certain thing. Except you press. Except you press. Where are you from? Here. I'm interested in you. Stand up. And those people too. Are you, are you in the ministry? Nothing. You just sit around. He's an usher. Oh. Did you hear what I said about ashes? Do you believe? And you watched. You were not here. You weren't here last night. Do you want God to use you? Are you or you just, we are okay. If you are not used. Lift your hand. Who is the one? This lady. You don't know her. Okay. <laughs> are, you, are you married? No. Yeah, there's a lady in your life apart from that. And you need to straighten all those other things. Is it true? Is it true? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yeah. You need to straighten. Otherwise, um, you can't be, you can never be anointed as God wants you to be. And also, you know, there's a price for ministry. If you are not prepared to pay, you can never be anointed. No matter how much oil is poured on, you just become oily. You just become oily, but you don't become anointed. So therefore says the Lord, structure your life and I will anoint you. But if you don't structure your life, I will not pour my oil on that thing. Stand up. Who are you? Um, VIP. You are staff. Mm -hmm. You're working here. Yes. She's a dialysis assistant. A dialysis assistant. How old are you, my dear? 23. 23. Do you know a good man? I do. You know a good man? Mm -hmm. I see. What is his name? Preston. Preston? Mm -hmm. when, when is the day? Um, I you don't know the day? The day that I met him? I don't know. You know Preston? Yes. And he's a good man? Yes. And when is the day? <laughs> You're just going to know him as a good man. Yeah. I guess so. You guess? Is, yeah, is he going right to marry you? <laughs> he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to marry her or not? Come here, come, come, come. <laughs> but I just finished praying for you. Well, don't waste her time. Whatever you have to do, do it quickly. Okay? Yes, sir. No, just prangling around, not, I mean, saying anything. You're just a good man. When I asked her that she knew a good man, she said she knows a good man, and you are the good man. <laughs> Lift your hand and receive a blessing. Jesus, thank you. Oh, yes. Maluka Tasanda Baba. Oh, yeah. There's power. Look at that. 
There's power here. Who are you? Stand up, stand up. You are important. You are very important. What is your importance? Who is this? Team, part of the worship, team. worship team. Lift your hands, my dear. You know, there are things that have confused you in, the, in your life, in your ministry. You know, it's always not going exactly the way you think it will be. It's called nearly successful. Near success syndrome. Near success. Blessings of the Lord upon your life. Blessings of the Lord upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Thanks. All of you here stand up so that I can pray for all of you here. There's power here. How many believe that there's power here? Oh, yes. Receive. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Oba Kabbalah. Kabbalah Gada. Shkaba. Shkaba. Tobege. Palege. Ah, 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 Times of refreshing. Times of refreshing. Times of refreshing. All of you stand up. One, two, three, four, five. Take the anointing. Take the anointing. I am hearing the word traveling. Somebody here is going to be traveling. Who is that? You? Where are you traveling to? All over America. Oh, yes. All over America. So shall it be. Go and go preaching. Go preaching. Go preaching. Go preaching. Go preaching. Come on, stand, my dear. Go preaching. Go preaching. There's power here. Watch. Look at it. You see, when Elisha was standing by the servant, he started weeping. And he said, what have I done to you? Receive the gift of God. Receive the gift of God. There's power. That's why people cry, laugh, tremble. Yes. Children. Stand up. I need to pray for you guys in this front row. Now you are in, in the ministry, both of you. Yes. yes. Where is your church? Alaska. How many people come to church? 300. Wow. Mega church. Amen. Now, I see in the realm of the spirit a horse, a stamina. You need stamina to go for the long distance. You need the stamina of a horse. Because so far it's just a sprint. But now you need the strength to go for a long distance in the same thing. May the Lord give you that long distance strength. Strength for the long journey of ministry. My God, my God, my God. I, I want to pray for this. I think he's the wife. Her heart is broken. Her heart is broken. Heal. In the name of Jesus, heal. In the name of Jesus, heal. Kamege Sabola Barada. Stand, please. Do you love Jesus? I'm sure you love Jesus. Lift your hands. Where, where are you a pastor? Are you a pastor? Louisiana. Louisiana. Oh, yes. Is your ministry a big ministry? We're growing. You're growing. Yes, How many people are in your church? Probably 125. 125. More like 100. Lift your hands. Father, thank you for 500. Thank you for 500. May God give you what you don't have. May God give you what you don't have. Take it. Receive the gift of God. Receive the gift of God, my dear. Whatever is painful in your life, painful, may you be healed of it. Every painful experience, 
be healed. Are you pastors? You are in Alaska. This is Louisiana. Yeah. The Lord is saying, don't have an independent spirit. You know what is an independent spirit? Yes. Don't have an independent spirit. The more dependent you are, the more connected you are, the more you will receive the grace of God. When you stand alone, you'll never be blessed. So connect. Connect well. Connect well so that you can become. I am the vine, you are the branches. Connect well in the realm of the Spirit. Take it. Take it. You've never seen something before, but you see it now. You've never seen something before, but you see it now. There's power. Look at it. Power. Those of you who don't understand the power of God, you can come and watch. Come to the ringside. You see? Stand here. God wants me to pray for the whole row. Are you pastor somewhere? Evangelist. Yeah, I prayed for you the last time. You are the son of somebody. Him right there is, is, your son, is your father. Are you a good son? Are you a good son? May you never have a rebellious spirit. May you be a good son, a good child. In the name of Jesus. Receive the gift of God. Receive the gift of God. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name. Where are you? Jackson, Tennessee. Tennessee. Lift your hands. How big is your church? Forty people. How long have you been pastoring? Two years. Two years. Yes. Do you believe God can give you an enlargement? I do. I'm going to pray for you for a spirit of attraction. People will be attracted to you. And anybody who comes to church will come again. And when they go home, they will come with more people. Receive it. Receive it. Receive. Receive. Thanks, Lord, in Jesus' name. Every standing, please. Every standing. Now, if you are not well in, in any part of your body, put your hand where your sickness is right now, in a, any kind of sickness. I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the God, your healer. I sent my word and I healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. You are the Lord that healeth me. You are the Lord. You are the Lord that healeth me. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word and you healed my disease you are the Lord my healer now right now I want to pray for any problem or any curse any sickness any disease Father in the name of Jesus I pray for every terminal disease any life threat condition in the name of Jesus Lord heal heal and deliver heal and deliver receive your healing right now Father I thank you for mighty power wherever you are standing just believe God and receive everything that threatens you and makes you afraid in the name of Jesus every pain 
every pain i curse the pain i curse the threats the threats to your life and to your existence in the name of jesus receive your healing right now receive it father i thank you you are the lord that he loved me you, you are the lord god. my healer you sent your word you, you sent, sent your, word, your word and you healed heal my disease you are the lord my Thank you. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word and you healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing and your miracle. Father, thank you for miracles that are taking place right now. Thank you for answers to prayer. Thank you for healing power. Thank you for mercies. Thank you for life. Thank you for prolongation of days. Thank you for extension of years by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, we give you thanks. We give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for so many, many miracles that are taking place this evening right here receive you're watching online also there's power here there's power there's god's power receive your healing receive miracles receive answers to prayer thanks 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 jesus thank you i see curses being broken right now in the name of jesus christ right now i want you to check yourself whatever problem you had Maybe you had a pain. Maybe you had a problem. But right now I believe Jesus is healing you. And wherever you are, right now, if God has healed you, God has done something for you tonight, you can actually sense and you can feel it that Jesus has healed you. If you are here tonight and you feel not that in the future God is going to heal you, but right now you can sense that something has happened. Because something always happens when he touches. Something, something happened, and now I know he touched me and made me whole. He touched me. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. He touched me. Right now, wherever you are, just close your eyes for a moment. Father, thank you for so many miracles. If God has touched you in any way, just lift up your right hand like this. If God has touched you and you are healed, you can sense that God has healed you of something, whatever it is, God has touched you. I want you to come to me in the front. Just lift your hand and just come. And I'm going to pray with you again over here. Take a couple of testimonies. Come. If you sense that God has healed you, not that you are believing that it will happen in the future, but right now, you can actually see that something God has done something. Happened. All right. And now Let them come this way together from a bunch, not a line. He me. Come, if, if God has healed you tonight. Now, come. You, no, no. Something. You, you can actually feel and sense that God has healed you, done something. Not that you are believing in the future. But right now, His power is here. He touched me. He touched me. He touched me. So many miracles tonight. He touched me. 
Oh yes. There's power here. Something always happens. Something. Can you guys move this way a bit? This way? Just move this way. Move to the side here. Can you all move this way, please? There's miracles here. Now, there's somebody with eyes. Somebody has an eye healing or an eye problem. Huh? You got an eye healing? Yes. And come this way. There's someone with an eye. God healed you. Come this way. If God has done something for you, come to me. What happened to you? I had um, like a really red eye. Oh, oh. Red eye. Is there any change? Has God healed you? Yeah, the pain's gone. Pardon? The pain's gone. The pain is gone. Yeah, yeah. The pain is gone. Eye healing right now. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Put your hands together for well, an eye. There's an eye healing. I wish you could let them go this way, but just a little this way. Just a little this way, so that I can, yes. Eye healing. Yep, so... Um, no, no, this lady came. What, what's wrong with you? Come. I, had a, an, I was in a car accident six months ago, and my, my eye jumps up and down on my left side. But it's really calm, and I, my whole... It's calm now. I'm very calm. Every wow. piece just is over. You had an accident. Yeah, I had a brain injury before, and I got healed. Miracle. Can you give us some volume, please, on this mic? And what happened tonight? I have complete peace in my brain and in my eyes. Everything's calm. Everything's calm. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks for your power. Thanks for your power. Thanks for your healing. Give Jesus a mighty clap offering. There's power here tonight. Listen. When I touch you, when I lay hands on you, I'm telling you, Jesus is healing. That's all. I'm a doctor. And I believe in miracles. What happened to you? So I have this recurring eye swelling and pain such that even when I blink, it hurts. And I have this headache that radiates in my head. And yesterday I came and blinking hurt. But after you prayed for me, whilst I was standing here, the pain went away. But I told God, if the lump that always is left here goes, I will come and give a testimony. Testimony. And the lump in the eye is gone. It's gone tonight. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thanks for your power in Jesus' name. Amen. What happened to you? Come. There's power here. Um, I got my heart broken. Your heart was broken by a boy, right? What's his name? Oh, you don't want to tell me his name. Okay, no problem. <laughs> but is your heart healed tonight? Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you. Oosh. Jesus. Jesus. What happened to you? Come this way. Yeah. I had a very sharp pain in my shoulder, and it is gone. I could almost not even bend over because of it. You couldn't it. bend over? No. Bend over, let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Miracles in Pittsburgh. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, there's power here. Jesus is a healing Jesus. Hallelujah. Come this way. Please move, move out, of, out of, yeah. Come, what happened to you? I was told that my womb would be healed. You, you were told what? That my womb would be healed. Your womb will be healed? Yes. You have and a you, problem with your womb? I was told. And you called for people who might have um, trouble with bearing children. Bearing children. So you prayed for me. I spoke to my pastor, and she also sealed it. And yesterday, when I went to shower, something had came out of me. Something came out of you. I've Thank never you seen too. something it, like that come out. You've never seen anything like that come out of you? A lady with a womb, a bleeding, somebody with bleeding, a bleeding problem. All right, come. What happened to you? Somebody else. Thank you, Jesus. You can go this way. Um, 
What happened to you? In high school, I vaped a lot, and I've you always, did what? I vaped, I smoked, and I've always had a little bit of breathing issues because of that since then. And I haven't been able to breathe this really well in a really long time. I can take a really deep breath now without pain for the first time since high school. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, we need space. We need space. Come, come this way. We need more and more space. One, come. If God has healed you, what's vaping, smoking? Vaping is smoking, okay. So um, for the last month, I've been to a doctor to test me on all sorts of things and they couldn't figure out why every week I was gaining five pounds of water weight and my body has been like ballooning for four weeks in a row. I gained 20 pounds in four weeks. And while I was praying, I, it was hurting to move my legs because it was so tight it felt like a bubble. Yes, like a, the like water. A, like it was a bursting balloon or something and it doesn't, it's not anymore. No more. Do you understand what she's saying? She was gaining fluid. She was retaining fluid in her body. And so the legs and the feet were swelling up and it's, it's difficult to bend even your foot, isn't it? It's painful. It was, it yeah. was, but not anymore. I can totally. Wow. Receive your miracle. Thanks. What is this? What happened to you? So I've been super nearsighted all my life um, from sec well, second grade onward. And I've been having prayers for healing time and time again. And so that was what I, I did. I just placed my hands on my eyes and just believed. And even though I haven't experienced the full healing, I heard the word from God that was, you are healed. So if I didn't come up in faith, then I felt like uh, that was the wrong but thing. But your eyes are the same. Mostly, yeah. The same. What is mm -hmm. nearsighted? Uh, just like everything far away is very blurry. Very so blurry. So you can only see near. Mm -hmm. All right. But you can't see far. Let's see. What can you see this way? Um, How far can you see? I can see everything. This guy like, who's But waving. not clearly. Like if he put his number of fingers up, I wouldn't be able to sell. Like I can't see that. You can't see how many mm -mm. fingers. Wow. Mm -mm. Nope. Not even close. <laughs> you can't see. Come nearer. Oh, come, come, come nearer. Can you see the fingers now? Two. Two fingers. Three. Okay, go back. Go back. You can't see that now. Mm -mm. How many believe God can heal his eye? Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. What's happening here? Your eye? Yes. Uh, about four or five months ago, I realized I had no color in my right eye. Wow. Everything was gray. I went to three different eye specialists, the last one being a, um, um, I can't think of the name of it right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, they all told me the same thing. This is permanent. You will probably never regain color in that eye. Wow. My pastor prayed for me, and my eye has been gradually, it's not as perfect as the left, but the right eye, I can see color, and tonight I was able to look in the bright lights. I haven't been able to do wow. that in months. I've been wearing a hat, wearing eye, you know, sunglasses, and a retinologist, that's who he was. And you said your pastor prayed for you? Yes, my pastor. Wow. Yes, he did. Pastor Jonathan Prince. Yes. Look at this miracle. You see, I think we take all these things for granted. She said in this eye, she could see only gray. Mm -hmm. No color. No color. No color. And Pastor Jonathan prayed for her. And she can now see. It's, it's not as bright. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but it's you can now see. It's aggressive healing, yes. I feel. And tonight I can look at the bright lights. I've not been able to You've do that. You've been able to all. do that. No, no. Wow. No. Everybody lift your hand and thank God for color vision that you are seeing colors. Thank God that you are seeing things in color. Hey. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, what a blessing. All right, God bless you. What happened to you? Um, I've had 
loud noise in my ear for like five, six years, just ringing, ringing, ringing. It got quiet tonight. Tonight? Yeah, I, was, I went to doctors, they wanted to give me hearing aids. It's just ringing day and night, day and night. Tinnitus. Yeah, and it wouldn't go away. But tonight, it wouldn't go away. It got, tonight, I'm, it's quiet. Tonight, it's, it's quiet. gone. It's gone. Wow, give Jesus a mighty clap of a... Thank you, Lord, for healing. Now, anybody who has that condition in the ear is terrible. There's a noise in the ear. And it's like ringy all the time. And there's no cure for it. But Jesus healed her and suddenly the ear has gone quiet. Give the Lord a mighty clap offering. And what happened to you, my dear? My feet, my feet hurt so bad I could hardly stand on them at all. And I couldn't, if, after I sat down, I couldn't even stand up and put it. Because away. under your feet was painful. Under my feet. That's called yes. plantar fasciitis. Yes. Is that what they told you? I didn't go to the doctor. I'm believing God. <laughs> all right. And what happened tonight? <laughs> it's 90% better. I 90%. can stand up. It's 90%. 90%. Yes. yes. These are scientific miracles, yeah. I tell you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for 90% better in the name of Jesus. There's power here, I tell you. Do you people believe in miracles? Do you believe in miracles? Do you believe in miracles? What happened to you, my dear? I was in a car accident about two and a half months ago, and I couldn't stand for long. You couldn't being, stand for long? Without being in a lot of pain, and I came this afternoon, and I was able to stand the whole time, and then this, in, this evening, no pain at no all. No pain. No. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God bless you. What happened? Um, my body was retaining fluid and uh, my legs looked like I'm pregnant and my kidneys were hurting so bad and, uh, and now I feel like it's a release and a I release. can move them. Yes, and, uh, and the second thing that I had a spasm in my stomach, upper mm. stomach, and whenever I would bend um, over, it would hurt me so much and now it the pain, the pain is, is gone. gone. The pain is gone. Pain is gone. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wow, she's been slain under the Holy Spirit with the baby and all. <laughs> what happened to you, sir? Well, I come up for healing for diabetes. I've had it for... You, you want to be healed from diabetes? Yes. So Jesus, well, thanks a million. Jesus, thanks a million. You don't seem to know any of my songs, brother. You are in a different world. <laughs> All right. What is this? Uh, cerebellum atrophy ataxia. Cerebella? Was, yeah, my brain was shrinking. But I felt Your what is shrinking? My brain. Your it's brain, a brain is shrinking. brain condition, where, but I felt the touch of God. And what happened tonight? I just felt the power you of God. You felt the power of God. Thanks, Jesus. Every curse is broken in the name of Jesus. Wow. What happened to you, my dear? Um, I've had digestive issues for a long time. And, and what happened tonight? And when I prayed, I could feel like blood flowing and moving. And I could... Thanks. Jesus is so good. Huh? Jesus is so good. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thanks for your healing. So beautiful. Everybody lift your hands. Say, Jesus, thank you. Yes. What happened to this lady? Uh, the last couple of days, traveling, rodeoing, getting myself out here. Last second, my like, back muscles tightened up and like, seized and started feeling like they were tearing. And I came anyways and just cranked it out. And um, I can like move and stuff now. Again. You can now move. <laughs> yeah. Paraspinal muscle spasms. Is that what yeah, you call it? Like they were, like, tearing. They yeah. were tearing. Yeah. Thanks, Jesus. Thanks. You know, I feel the people who are coming up for the miracles are coming up for double blessings. Receive a blessing from the Lord. Receive a blessing from the Lord. Come this way. Come this way. There's power here tonight. There's power here tonight. Lift up your hands. Jesus, what happened to you? I had a headache that was like in my eye on my right side. And right we prayed side and eye it's gone. pain. And yeah. after we prayed, it's gone. It's gone. Yes, glory to God. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. What happened to you, sir? 
got my, my knee healed two weeks ago. I had an MRI on it, and they showed a strain MCL, and I had pain walking, and then you said, check yourself out, and I tried to run, and I could run. You started running. Without pain. Run, let's see. Run, let's see. Run, let's see. Aye. Wow. This man is an Olympic runner. Wow. He had an MRI, and Look at what he's doing. Amen. Jesus, thanks a million. What happened to this one? For the last two years, I've struggled with anxiety, depression, anxiety. and fear. Lift your hands. Every psychiatric condition. I end it now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. What happened to you? Now, somebody else with another depression, anxiety, psychiatric, anything. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me, come to me quickly. All of you come. All of you come. Lift your hands. It's gone. Come this way, come here, stand here. Anxiety, schizophrenia, you hear voices. Anybody who hears voices, come now. You hear voices talking to you. Come to me. It's a very important symptom. You hear voices speaking to you and talking to you, insulting you. Come, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Thank you. The end. The end. The end. Skebele. Skebele. Parisa. Palombe. Pesinde. Talamba. In the name of Jesus, be free of depression, anxiety, turmoil. Every voice of darkness speaking is broken. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Give the Lord a mighty clap offering. Every mental condition is healed tonight let them come let them come breast cancer breast cancer um this is the fourth time i've been dealing with different kinds of cancer this is the fourth time you're having different kinds of cancer yes and what happened tonight um i've been having a lot of side effects from the um i have nerve damage in my body all in my organs and um where the cancer was in the right breast the pain started to subside mm. The pain started to go down. To go down. Father, thank you for breasts. Any other breasts, come to me. You have a breast lump. It's gone. Breast cancer. Come to me. Come to me. I need every breast condition. Come to me. Look at this. So many miracles tonight. So many miracles tonight. All right. God bless you. God bless you. Next. Breast cancer. My mother and I have been dealing with it. We have the same Both gene. Both of you have breast cancer. I have, I, I have the gene my mom Give has me had. oil. Give me oil. Every lady, put your hand on your breast. Every woman, put your hand on your breast. Let me pray for Father, in the name of Jesus, let the curse of breast cancer be broken. I pray for every breast for today and the future. There shall be no diagnosis. There shall be no lump. There shall be no cancer. The covering of the Lord over every breast, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. And everybody shouted, Amen. God bless you. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. What is this? Mine also was um, tenderness in my breast and just breast. a lot of issues. Give me some oil. I Give me some oil. continue to pray healing over it. And I know I am healed. Is there a lump? Was there a lump? There is. There's a lot of... I've always had lumps and soreness. You've always had yes. lumps. Thanks for healing in Jesus' name. Lumps are healed right now in Jesus' name. Many, many miracles. What happened to you? Um, I have a three-centimeter lump in my left breast. Three-centimeter lump. Come this way. Is it gone? Huh? I believe it's God. You believe it's God? <laughs> Jesus, thanks for healing. Thanks for healing. Thanks for healing. Every lump is going in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Oh, fear not. Fear not. Only believe. Fear not. Only believe. Fear not. Only believe. In Jesus' name. Amen. So many miracles tonight. I've been dealing with bloating um, for bloating. the past two years. What happened tonight? I, I felt a tingling. And Ting I've been having issues 
through this whole And is it, is it better, the bloating? It's better, yes. It's, it's better, better, the bloating. But yeah. So you don't have to buy medicine anymore. Lift your hands. You've been buying lots of medicine. Thanks. Thanks for healing. Jesus. What happened? Come. There's power here tonight. I was in a car accident six years ago, and ever since then I've had problems with my left shoulder, and it's recently gotten a lot worse during worship, especially, and it got really, really tight and really painful, and I had to take a seat a couple of times. But when you told us to lift up our hands and receive healing, I felt instant relief in my shoulder. Oh. Wow, what a blessing. Lift your hands, my dear. Thanks a million, Jesus. Oh, yes. God bless you. You called out somebody that had bleeding. Bleeding, yes. Yes. Uh, I was just released from the hospital. I had to have three units of blood for GI bleeding. GI bleeding? Uh huh. Ah, it was GI bleeding. Yeah. You had three units of blood. Yeah, they, they told me get to the hospital. It's life or death. So I went straight to the hospital. And what happened and tonight? You believe you are healed? Yes. No pain. Huh? No pain. No abdominal pain. Oh. It's gone. It's gone in the name of Jesus. Wow. Wow. What happened? Quickly, I feel a fast anointing. Um, what is this? Um, I just wanted uh, to know if you Receive could pray it in for In Jesus' name. Yes. I want testimonies. I do have a testimony. I do have a testimony. Um, I, um, on Sunday, I got the, the uh, word that um, they were healed as they went. And, um, you know, for the past few years, sometimes I feel like there's something Let moving. me just pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Next, please. I want, to, I want to finish this line quickly. Let them come. Let them come. Let them come. I have a lump in my breast. Lump in your breast. How old are you, please? You really want to know. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Sorry. Sorry. This way. What happened to I've you? I've been wayward and um, drug-induced for a couple of weeks, and I'm here today, and God's delivered me. Jesus what? Name. What did he say? God has delivered me in Jesus' name. From what? From drug addiction, crack cocaine. Drug addiction. Sir. Jesus. How many believe drug addiction is healed tonight? Father, thank you for mercy. Thank you for your path. There's power here. What happened to you, my dear? I had a really bad twitching problem and it went away. You had what? Twitching. A bad twitching problem. Twitching of what? I just kept going like that. Your whole body twitches? Yes. Yeah. And is it gone? Yes. How do you know it's gone? I haven't twitched in a couple minutes ever. You haven't twitched? Like wow! This young boy has received a healing from twitching. Come this way, my dear. How old are you? Ten. Ten. Ten years old. Father, thank you for perfect healing for this young man in Jesus' name. This young man came on his own. Come and take a picture. Where are the photographers? Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. This is a twitching miracle. <laughs> Give Jesus a shout of praise. What happened to you? In my left knee, every few minutes it would like a crack and pop and it would feel like I would want to collapse because it would hurt so bad. And it's gone. Crack and pop? It would like crack and yes. it would make me want to fall over. Wow. It's and what happened tonight? It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Pittsburgh is a place of miracles. Yes. Oh, sorry. I can't because you, you say, you said those people who, who are hearing voices. To, hey, people here, you've been to, hearing voices? To, to, yeah, to come. So, what does the voice uh, tell you? About um, everything, like everything that I have done, that's done, that's bad. Yes. And you know, almost like... Twisting everything around. You're from Liberia. You're from Liberia. Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah, but I, 
I live in Navi State for a long time. You live where? I live in this country. In this country? For a long time. Okay, lift your hands, lift your hands. Satan, you are finished. You are finished in the name of Jesus. Be delivered from every voice of darkness in Jesus' name. Come, let them come quickly. I feel a fast anointing. I had a flo floater in my left eye. And photo in your left eye? Yes. And What's a photo in your left eye? A floater, like you see a Floater, spot. floater, okay. Floater, okay. yeah. Um, and I've been belie just believing that it would go away. It's more of a nuisance that okay. doesn't affect my vision, mm -hmm. but it was a nuisance. And, so and what happened? It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Every nuisance is gone in Jesus' name. Um, so I had pain in my right knee to where like it hurt to bend it or to even stand or yes. walk for a while. But after you prayed, no pain. No pain. No. Arthritis healed. Every knee is healed. Anybody with knee pain, put your hand on your knee. Knee pain. Knee healings. Father, thank you for many miracles of healing. In Jesus' name, amen. What happened to you? Oh, I, um, I was diagnosed with uh, lung cancer, both lungs, which I had had surgery. Uh, now they say it has returned in the lymph nodes all through me. I don't accept it, but I'm here. Lift I'm your breathing. Hands. You are breathing. I'm breathing. And they, don't, they, they, they said you're going to die, but you're yes. going to live. Yes. They said you're going to die, but you're going to live. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. In Jesus' life. What happened to you, my dear? Come. We both hurt our ankle, and she insisted we come out up and say that that we, our ankles are. You feeling both bad. had what? We both hurt our ankle. Your ankle. A couple weeks ago. Okay. But I would think what speaks volumes more than that is she was in the one insisted we come up here, and a generational curse between my the mothers and daughters of my family has plagued us for three generations yes. now, and just her insisting we come up, I feel like speaks volumes. What happened? To that. So um. A few months ago, well, it, like my left ankle was like really hurting and it kind of hurt to go on walks and sometimes it hurt to play with my little brother and sister and now it feels all better. Now it feels all better. Wow. What a blessing in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Quickly, I feel a fast oh, anointing. Pastor Kobe? Hi. Huh? Hi. I'm just, I have blood cancer. Blood cancer, leukemia. Yes. Lift your hands. Receive your healing. Anyone with cancer, come to me. Cancer, come. Cancer, cancer patients, come. Pastor Kofi, Pastor Pastor Kofi, Kofi prayed, prayed for, for me once before, and I, I definitely have a lot more energy oh, wow. than I've had in a long time. So. Energy, energy. You are living. Yes. Receive life. Receive life. Same. Diagnosis, but I refuse to re accept it, and I believe leukemia. It's not leukemia, but it's a blood cancer. Blood cancer. My but late God touched me and healed me. In Jesus' name. Every cancer of the blood. What happened to you? I lost my brother to a motorcycle accident a year ago. To a what? Motorcycle accident? This okay. month, one year. And I haven't felt peace in my heart yes. since that day. Yes. I feel calm. Yes. Peace in my heart. You feel calm today. I do. I, oh. I really couldn't ever not cry saying that. This you couldn't is ever say honestly that. Honestly, the first time I've said it without crying. Wow. She lost her brother a year ago, and she's not been able to talk about it without crying. Listen, the Lord is healing you. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus, for healing your heart forever. Forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. You're healed. What happened? Hi. Um, first time in like 10 years, I have not had pain in my back since we prayed. First time in 10 years, she has not had pain in her back. How many believe that Jesus is healing many, 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 many miracles tonight? Wow, what a blessing. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Come this way. Come this way. What is this? What happened? Three things. Three things, three yes. miracles. Yes. This morning, when you prayed for hurt. Yes. Um, that was all my, since I was 18, 
that has been, that's no longer here in my heart. And I suffered a couple of years ago from stroke. Stroke. And it affected my left side. Yes. When you prayed for me this morning for the heart, I was able to run. And then tonight, uh, after all of my life as a, well, after the years of being a believer, I now understand as my third miracle that I met John and that was you and I thank you. You understood that you met John. Wow. Lift your hand. Three miracles in one. Receive the miracle grace. What happened to you? I've had low back pain for low back pain. a very long time and it's gone. I it's can move freely. No pain. Move, let's see. Move, let's see. Wow. Hey. Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> wow. Hallelujah. What is this? So I had severe brain fog for a long time and severe brain brain fog. Fog. What's brain fog? Like confusion, cloudy. Confusion. Yeah, foggy. Confusion. God is not the author of confusion. Come. Yeah. And is it gone? And it's gone. And, and I had neck pain that was chronic as well for six years. It's completely gone. Completely gone. It's completely gone. All of it's completely the cervical gone. spondylosis. Healed in the name of Jesus. Thanks. Thanks. Amen. Um. I got hurt a couple months ago, and I kind of felt like I fractured my hand. But after you said the prayer, automatically my hand started doing this, and I was able to ball my hand up in the fist. Wow. So, You've not been able to do that? I haven't been able to do this. Since when? Three months ago. You've not been able to do this? Yes. You know, and what caused that? Um, basketball. Actually, basketball. for my daughters, yes. Basketball. Yes. All right. Jesus, thank you for healing. Basketball healing in Jesus' name. Amen. There's power. There's power. What is this? So a year ago, Pastor Jonathan Shuttlesworth prayed for me at our church, the Lake Church in New Hampshire. I went down, hit like 220 voltage, was stuck to the floor, and I be believe God did, started doing the work. And then 10 days ago, his cousin, Preston Shuttlesworth, prayed for me at our church, the Lake Church in Grafton. And tonight, Preston. tonight, Dag Haywood Mills prays for me, hey. and I don't believe that the devil has a chance, and these demons of high blood pressure, uh, diabetes, heart disease, and enlarged prostate have to go. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord, according to his faith. Let it be so. In Jesus' name. Wow, what happened to you, my dear? Um, so about three months ago, I got, like, really bad mucus, like, just everywhere like I was, I was coughing constantly sneezing and i had like ear popping and it's gone right now yes sir totally gone yes sir i can i wouldn't be able to laugh i wouldn't be able to walk upstairs i would i literally sounded like a dog like i was coughing it sounded so like a dog like i would cough and it would just like <laughs> you never sound like a dog in jesus name yes, sir. thank you lord for your power amen 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 what happened to you my dear um, this morning, leaving church, 20 minutes after, I crashed and totaled my car with my mom and my brother, and I w we all got rushed to the hospital, and I ha had neck pain and shoulder pain, and they wanted me to wear a neck brace and a sling, but I told them no, and my mom forced me to come to church tonight, even though I couldn't even see when I came in, and my head was spinning. And when you started praying for everyone, it's all gone. And it's I can't all pray. gone. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Hallelujah. What happened to you? I was in a car accident yesterday. So I woke up today. I was sore all over my body, my arms, my back, my thighs. And I received healing for that mostly. And then just right now, when you're praying for knees, I've had problems with my knees for years. Just right now, I received healing. So that's it. Of your, for your knees as well. Wow. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amazing miracles. What happened to you? I've had, I've had multiple, multiple surgeries, blood clot in each leg, two back surgeries, and my body's And been, you, you want another surgery? I've had... Do you want to have more surgeries? No. No. Lift your hands. Amen. End of surgeries. In Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, for the 
for the past uh, six months, whenever I stand for a long time, my foot, when I stand on it, it like hurts. And when, I, when you prayed today, I just felt the pain go away. Pain is gone in Jesus' name. Amen. What happened? I was in a ushering meeting uh, last Saturday, and we, I was practicing catching, and somebody landed You're on Practicing my, catching people that were people falling. falling, yes. Oh, wow. And, <laughs> and uh, no, I love you, Pastor Jonathan. Um, yeah, they landed on my leg the, a bad angle, and it was hurting. For, and it's, it was slowly... Lift your hand. God is going to use healing. you. God is going to use you. This is an injury for ministry. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Receive the anointing, young man. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Come, get up, get up, get up, get up. Power belongs to Jesus. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. Power, 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 power. One more time, one more time. Receive the anointing. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. What happened to you? I had knee surgery in 2007 and just have a lot of pain and swelling. No more, no more knee pain. Is the pain. pain gone? Yes. And the swelling gone? Yes. Knee surgery? I walk in pain every day. You walk in pain every day and what the a, pain is gone. Don't feel anything right Jesus, now. Jesus, thank you for your power. In Jesus' name. Amen. He's a healing Jesus. Yes. My left hip has been hurting since last February. And my wife said I've been walking with a limp ever since. When you prayed, I felt my hip pop and I have no pain at all on my hip. Say, say it again. Say it no again. pain. My, my hip was hurting, and my hip felt my hip pop. And I have no pain. I couldn't get my leg up this high. Wow. And I do have that no lesson. pain do at that. all. Do it again. I can't. I couldn't do it earlier today. Wow. Hip joint healings. Hip joint healings. Look at this. A grown man is crying. People don't come and act. Has anybody paid you to act? Are you from Hollywood? No. This man has been healed. He's a grown man. He's a mature adult with lots of muscles. And he's crying because God has healed his hip. What a blessing and what a healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What is this? Um, since two Sundays ago, I've had a very sore throat and like a really sore runny, throat? Yeah, and runny nose. I was concerned with how I was even going to sing. Receive healing. Jesus' name. What happened? Fell and you fell. I fell. And Don't my fall anymore. Hip, Come. Thank you. Receive an angel to prevent you from falling. Receive in the name of Jesus. No more falling. It's not good for grown ups to fall. You know that you can die from falling. What happened? Um, for the last two years, I've had a pain in my left shoulder and it's. Lift gone. your shoulder. Frozen shoulder syndrome is healed. Is that what they called it? Frozen shoulder? Okay. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. God bless you. What, what, what is this? Um, just been struggling with suicidal idealization. Suicidal. And intrusive thoughts. And um, no. I just began to feel hope rise up in me today. You started to feel hope. 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 Give me some oil. No more suicide. No more suicide. Anybody who feels has had that thought, suicidal thought, please come to me. I want to pray for you. No one is going to commit suicide, especially young people. Especially young people. Come. Anyone with a suicidal feeling. Where are the last miracles? Is this the last one? Yes. What happened? I had tinnitus. I've been in construction the last 11 years. Tinnitus? Yes. I was is it getting, gone? Yes. It was last the night. sound. Yes. Last night when you poured oil on me, the ringing I noticed an hour later was gone. There is mm. no more sound. I can hear clearer than I've ever heard before. Did you hear what this man said? He can hear clearly. He can hear clearly. Thank you, Jesus. What happened? I came to ask for healing for my niece, Your niece. and my mother. Both Father, all have thank blood, you. Thank brain, you. brain problems. In Jesus' name. Amen. Listen. Suicide and suicidal thoughts 
in Jesus name stretch your hands in the name of Jesus every nonsense thought nonsense thought is breaking now give me oil every stupid thought goes out of your mind from today every stupid idea to kill yourself to end your life ends right now ends right now it ends it ends it ends it ends come out devil come out in the name of Jesus come out come out in the name of Jesus come out in the name of Jesus every suicide spirit come out come out in the name of Jesus Christ we break the curse lift your hands and thank the Lord every standing please every standing every standing father thank you for your work tonight the spiritual appointed times thank you for your blessing and your healing if you are here tonight you don't know Jesus as your savior and you want me to pray with you to know Jesus as your savior and your master I want you to walk to me in the front here. Maybe somebody invited you, but you, you are not born again or you don't, you, you don't know Jesus as your Savior. I want to pray with you before we close. If you are here like that, come to me with your hand lifted up like this. God bless you. Clap for them as they come. Clap for them as they come. God bless you. Clap for them as they come. Encourage them as they come. Father, thank you. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for your power. A beautiful camp meeting. I has not seen salvations, miracle, manifestations of your mighty power. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you thanks. Lift your hands and receive your blessing. Father, thank you for a mighty blessing for everyone who is here tonight. In Jesus' name. God bless you. You may be seated. Can we show our appreciation to God's servant, Bishop Dag Haywood Mills?